We are very excited to begin a special parenting series. Thank you to anyone listening, watching, and to any time. Emir Tzashem, the series will have many parts, and we look forward to growing and learning together. The first thing I want to tell you or give you is chizuk, is encouragement. Today, raising children is more difficult than ever. In my mind, there are two most difficult aspects of today's chinuch, of today's raising children. Number one is the chutzpah problem, the chutzpah issue. Children are more disrespectful than ever before. And really, Chazal promised, promised us this. The Gemara says in the end of Sota, in the Iqfasa de Mashiach, in the times of Mashiach, before Mashiach comes, at the end of days, Chutzpah Yaske, Chutzpah is going to increase. Gemara says adults will get up in front of children. It's going to be very difficult. And we see that today. Many people think that the reason why children are disrespectful today is because the parents are not as strict as they should be, they're not as firm as they should be, and they're allowing this chutzpah, causing this chutzpah. But that's not really the case. We didn't dream of speaking to our parents the way our children may speak to us. The chutzpah, the disrespect, is in the air. It's a promise from Chazal that this chutzpah challenge will exist. And we are going to have to learn as parents how to navigate through this challenge and not let it ruin, destroy, hamper our parenting and our relationship with our children. We need to know that if our child is disrespectful, we are not alone. Many times we don't want to tell our neighbors or our relatives what challenges we're going through with our child and the disrespect he may treat us with at times. We don't want to share that, we're embarrassed, but we also feel that you know, we're alone and my child is acting this way. But it's important to know you are not alone. This is going on all around and it doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It's a challenge and it's a challenge that the Ezra Sashem we will discuss. Children today are very chutzpah, are very defiant and we have to know how to work around and work through this challenge. The second area of heightened challenge in today's times, no doubt, is technology. The access to technology, the indecent material that children can be exposed to. And putting that aside, just the attachment to social media, attachment to their phone, it makes things a lot more challenging. Challenging spending time with our children, challenging connecting to our children, that's another great challenge, the challenge of technology. And as a Hashem, we will discuss this as well. But the first lesson or the first message I want to share with you is that raising children today is not an easy task. And we are not alone in this challenge. On the bright side, I believe the challenge of parenting today offers us unique and special opportunity. Number one, the opportunity to work on our midos, to work on our character. To raise children effectively today requires tremendous, tremendous character, tremendous development of oneself. If a parent has a short fuse, if a parent has a temper, things are not going to be pretty because children are very challenging. So our children are gifting us, maybe not their intention, 
but gifting us the opportunity to really develop ourselves and become better, greater people. Secondly, we are created to emulate Hashem. The halachta bidracha, we have a mitzvah to follow in the ways of Hashem. Mahu rachum, just like He is merciful and compassionate. Afatar rachum, so too you should be merciful and compassionate. There is no greater way to emulate Hashem than in our own dealings with our children. We are the children of Hashem. We are the children of Hashem. And in raising our children, we have that opportunity to emulate Hashem. Hashem's patience. Hashem's unconditional love. We have that opportunity by rising to the challenge, by making ourselves great, dealing with things properly, calmly, intelligently, we have the chance to emulate Hashem, to be forgiving of our children, patient with our children. And we should know that I believe that this is what's going to bring Mashiach. Perhaps, I suggest, that in our times, we, are, we have many shortcomings in our relationship to Hashem. We are not acting always the way we should. We're not always careful the way we should be with what we hear, what we say, what we see. We have plenty of shortcomings. There's Yerida Sadoros. The generation's not as strong in many ways. However, in raising our children and, and rising to the challenge, we have the opportunity to bring Mashiach. How so? Because Hashem treats us measure for measure. If we can be that loving father or mother, we can be forgiving, patient with our children, then measure for measure, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will be loving, patient, forgiving of us. And that will bring the times of Ahishiv Lev Avos Abanim Vlev Banam Alavosam. As the Pasik says, Hashem will bring the hearts of the parents on the children. And in turn, the hearts of his children to the parents. If we work on our relationship, our attitude, our love towards our children, in return, they will improve their relationship with us. And we are having a part in bringing Mashiach, Bimheir of Yemenu. We will now begin our journey different lessons in Mirz Hashem each week and things for us to think about and to work on and integrate into our lives. The first lesson that we like to discuss is the concept of not taking credit nor blame for our children, for their behavior, for their success. As parents, so many times we make the mistake and think it's all about us. My parenting, my behavior, that's what's causing my child's behavior. If my, if my child is successful, <clears throat> my child does well, that's a reflection on me. I'm such a wonderful father or mother. And the opposite, which is even more dangerous, if my child is challenging, my child is not behaving the way they should, so that's a reflection upon me, and I'm all to blame. That's not the truth, and we're missing a tremendous part of parenting with such an attitude. One of the main parts of understanding parenting is that our child has his own nature, each child has his own nature, and some children naturally are just more challenging than others. We see children in the very same family, with the very same parents. One child, just everything goes smooth and easy, and the other child, things are difficult. Same parents, 
same parenting, and different children, different results. So we need to know that Hashem is giving us a child to take care of, and our job is to do our best to give our child the maximum chance for success. He has Bechira, he has free choice, she has free choice. We need to give them the maximum chance, the optimal chance for success. Does parenting play, play a huge role? Absolutely. I believe very strongly, and that's why we're sitting here. That's why we're discussing this and putting so much effort into our parenting. Parenting plays a huge, huge role. Parents that handle the challenging child correctly, their child has a much better chance much greater chance for success. Parenting plays a huge role, but it doesn't begin and end with our parenting. I was speaking to a group of parents who have some challenging children, and I told them the following. Sometimes we look around and we see our neighbors, our friends, their children just do everything they're supposed to, they're easy. And we look at the parents and we watch them parent and it doesn't seem like they're better parents than us. In fact, sometimes we see some clear shortcomings. We see some clear no-nos that all the chinuch experts advise not to do. And these parents have many shortcomings and their kids are just doing everything right. They're so much easier than my children or my child. So maybe I should do things backwards, do things the way those parents do it because it's working for them. And the answer is absolutely not. Those parents have different children. Perhaps Hashem in His great wisdom did not hand your child to those parents, to those people. Because if your child would end up in their home, your child would be in deep trouble. If you have a challenging child, take it as a compliment. It's not easy, but it's a compliment because Hashem knows that you are able to help this child and Hashem is entrusting you with this challenge. The Torah taught us this lesson very early on, and this should be a great chizik for us. Avram Avinu has a son, Yishmael, with his terrible nature. Yitzchak has an Esav. Which one of us is a parent, is a father, like Avram, a mother, like Rivka? Even if we find a Chazal criticizing on some level Avram or Yitzchak, we are still not anywhere near their level of parents. And yet they had these children. And I believe the Torah is teaching us that it's not all about the parents. There is a nature of a child. Now don't get me wrong, your son is not Esav or Yishmael. Your child is a Jewish child who will be very, very successful. And if we parent properly, the chances are just overwhelmingly that everything will turn out okay. It takes patience, it takes time. It's not necessarily a quick and easy ride. But we do see it's not all about the parents. It doesn't mean something wrong with you or even something wrong with your parenting. What we will need to ask ourselves over the next few weeks is, am I parenting the way I should be? Am I calm as I should be? Am I loving as I should be? Am I doing everything I can do? Our job as parents is to do everything we can do to give our child the maximum chances, the maximum aid for his or her success. That's our job. If we're doing that job, then 
That's it. That's all we could do. If we're not, then we got to work on ourselves. We got to do as best as we can. That's our responsibility. That's our achrayas as parents. But once again, every child has a different nature. And the challenges do not necessarily come from us. I'll give you just an example. The ADHD child. The ADHD child is challenging at home, challenging at school. And very often, if the ADHD child is not handled correctly, other problems come about if the child is not loved or appreciated in school, not loved or appreciated at home. A lot of other things, a lot of other challenges can come about. But no one's going to say that the parents created, the parents gave the child too much Red Bull every morning and caused the child to be challenging. The child is challenging. The parents have to learn how to navigate and properly help this child. And just like the ADHD child, other challenges that children face very often and most often are natural to the child. Our job, and again, we play a critical, critical role. Our job is to be the most supportive parents, patient parents, develop a relationship with our children. All these things that we will discuss in Merz Hashem over the next few weeks, that's our job. And if we do our job well, we will see a tremendous difference over time. Keeping in mind that Hashem gave us His children, entrusted us to take care of them. They are not ours. They are not our possession. They are not a reflection directly upon us. Keeping that in mind brings us to the second lesson of today. And that is the importance of davening. We need to daven for our children's success. The same way we need to do every practical, physical step to help our children, taking care of them physically, emotionally, and everything involved in parenting. We call that hishtadlus, our effort in giving our children the best chance for success. It is our responsibility, practical hishtadlus, to daven for their success, because no less practical than our love for our children, that are taking care of our children, no less practical is our davening to Hashem, because when we daven to Hashem, Hashem listens, and Hashem helps our child succeed. So we must daven for our children all the time. Many parents who lacked parenting skills There was compensation by their tremendous power, tremendous heart they put into their davening. So we need to daven, always daven, that our children should be successful. Daven, that we should have the wisdom, the midos, the character, to handle the situations that that arise, to raise our children the best we can. And we should see Nachas, nachas from them. Thank you very much to li- for listening. Once again, we'll go over. Parents need chizuk. Parents need encouragement. We are not alone. So many p- children are giving their parents a hard time. There's a tremendous problem of chutzpah. Technology is a very difficult challenge. And the first two lessons that we shared, number one, that we are not to take all the credit or blame for our child's behavior, for our child's success. We can only take responsibility for our parenting and for our part, and we just need to ask ourselves, are we doing what we should be doing to help our children, to help our child? And number two, we need to daven Daven to Hashem, that Hashem should help our child be successful and help us raise our child properly. Thank you so much 
for listening. <laughs>